Hello dear, it's Heather and you're watching Save Today with Heather J. I am somebody who has spent her entire adult life living paycheck to paycheck and being one life event away from financial crisis. Um, in order to change that and create a more comfortable uh, financial existence for myself, I have decided to create um, this budgeting channel. Uh, budget is very important. There's no way I'm going to get ahead without a budget. Um, but I don't find budgeting to be particularly um, exciting and rewarding. Um, so I created this channel so that I have some consistency, a reason to check in. By needing to check in with you guys, I am forced to check in with myself um, so that I know where I'm at when I'm having a conversation with you guys. Um, that really has been very beneficial for me in my budgeting journey. Um, but when I initially started this channel, as I was getting ready and really um, preparing for this, I know myself enough to know that I've struggled with this in the past and I needed to find a way to bring some encouragement and joy into this channel with me um, or I wasn't going to be able to convince myself to continue working through the hard times. And so I have decided to um, add a craft. I am somebody who does a lot with fabric in particular. Um, and so I wanted to bring that in here. I really enjoy uh, quilting and making clothing and some of these other things. Um, it's my happy space. And I needed to tie some happy and joy into um, what at the moment is very discouraging for me. I know there will come a time when all of my bills are paid. There will come a time when I have um, the means to buy the high ticket items I'd like to buy. There will come a time where I have savings set aside so that those life events that sweep my feet out from underneath me no longer have that impact. But that's a ways away. And, um, you know, that's not a journey skipping through a field of wildflowers. So we're going to get there. I um, thank you for joining me on this journey and for um, encouraging me and pushing me through and just being here. Um, so today's video is my July week four spending check-in. I'm a little bit behind on my videos and I'm playing a game of catch up right now. I will let you know uh, week four was the week of, hmm, I was not as prepared as I should be. Week four for me was the uh, 21st to the 26th of July. Um, so that is where the spending goes. I'm going to let you know ahead of time. Um, there was a surgery that happened during that time. I did not have surgery. A member of my household did have surgery and um, the budget went out the window at that point. Um, number one, there's things that you have to buy in relation to that that um, aren't in the budget. And number two, uh, I just couldn't I didn't have the mental bandwidth to fight that. So there's going to be more spending. So let's get into that. Yesterday's video was a very long video. Let's see if we can't make up for that by making today's video very, very short. And I'm going to be honest with you, I'm actually filming these videos on the same day, but it is my intention to uh, release them separately. I'm trying to hurry up and get caught up here. So you may get videos every day for a moment from me. So my very first transaction was on the 21st. In the miscellaneous category, I went to Petco and spent $4.40. Um, that was probably betting for the birds, uh, which occasionally you'll hear the birds in the background kind of chirping. I do try and keep the door closed. doesn't always help. On the, also on the 21st in the groceries category, I went to Walmart, spent $6.29. At, at this point, I don't know what that transaction was. Um, I'm assuming it was a single item for $6.29, but I don't know for certain at this point. Um, and then I have a lot of transactions on the 24th, which was the Monday. And I, I'm pretty sure that because the weekend is um, not a bank day, that a lot of these uh, transactions happened on Saturday and Sunday and just got 
um, into the account on Monday. But so there's a lot of them. So let's just be prepared for that. On the 24th in the groceries category, went to Aldi, spent $2.19. That was probably for some chips and a candy bar too for my lunch. Um, I didn't eat just chips and a candy bar in my lunch, but I do recall that there was one day where I didn't have much and wanted to enhance that um, and just ran next door to all these. Um, all, on the 24th in the dining out category, I took myself to Culver's and I spent $18.77. And I'm almost positive that this transaction was on the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Um, I knew at this point my mental space was done and I didn't, it was just me. And I didn't wanna go home and try and figure out what I was gonna cook for just me. And I had been scrimping and saving and dealing with all of the stuff you heard me dealing with on yesterday's video. And I just wanted to splurge on me. And so I went and I got a double cheeseburger with bacon and I got the cheese curds and I got the sauce and I got a shake and I got all the extra goodies. And I'm here to tell you when I got that, was told my total, I got sticker shock. For one meal for one person, I spent $18.77. Um, it was worth it to me at the time, but yikes, I won't, uh, I won't splurge on myself very often at that price. Um, on the 24th, in the groceries category, again at Aldi's, I went and spent $6.08. Again, I don't really know for certain what that was, um, but that would have been, uh, that's next door at work, so that would have been on my way to work or at lunch or on my way home. I would have grabbed something really quick before jumping in the car and going home. Again, on the 24th, um, in the groceries category at Kroger, $36.86. Again, it's been so long, I don't know what I bought. On the 24th in the transportation category, I filled the gas tank up, spent $32.66. On the 24th in the groceries category, and this one could have been in the miscellaneous category, I went to Walmart and spent $49.71. And um, I'm actually going to be returning the items I bought here and I will be getting that back, but I haven't done that yet. If I had done that, I would have just zero, I would have not put that transaction in this total. But what this was, was this was before the surgery. Um, I went to go buy all of the possible things you might need as bandages and tape and covers for an open wound. Um, and I didn't know which were the things that were going to work. And so I bought a little bit of everything and ultimately ended up not needing any of that. So that will all be returned and I will be getting that money back at some point. But that's what this was. This was the day before surgery, I believe, and I just was rushing out to make sure that we had any possible thing that might come up. Um, and that's why it could have been the miscellaneous category. There was no actual groceries here. Um, so that should have been under the miscellaneous category, but it was a Walmart transaction and it just automatically gets listed as groceries. And then on the 24th, groceries at Walmart, $10.86. This one, I don't know what that was. Could have been something else related to surgery. Maybe we went back and got some, I don't know, ibuprofen or something, I don't know. Probably not, but I don't know what it was. Uh, on the 24th, dining out. Um, I don't know if this was the day before or the day of surgery, but I went to Papa John's and got pizza and the dessert cinnamon twisties. Oh, I think that was the day of surgery. I spent 34.43. Uh, on the 25th in the miscellaneous category, um, prescriptions at the hospital for 38.81. There was a, five different prescriptions that needed to be picked up before being released. Um, so I guess this Papa John's was the night before surgery. On the 24th, on the 25th, I'm sorry, in the dining out category to McDonald's, $14.70. And I think this was on my way home from a drop off at the hospital. I think I stopped and got myself breakfast and a sweet tea and a coffee. $14.70. On the 25th in the miscellaneous category at Family Dollar, I spent $6.42. Uh, we wanted to get a little hand basket to zip tie to the uh, walker so that things could be carried from one room to the next um, post-surgery. Um, ultimately, the basket I got was too big. I had to go return it and get a smaller one, um, which I did on the 26th, but unfortunately I didn't have the receipt and without the receipt, they couldn't give me cash back. So I needed to add to my transaction. So I got a big giant 
um, king size candy bar and spent an additional dollar 44 miscellaneous category family dollar on the 26th in the groceries category i went to kroger spent 24 dollars and 63 cents again any of these grocery uh, transactions i don't know at this point what they were i don't know if you need me to list out all of the different things i bought if it's if you're curious about those kinds of things but that's not that's not what's happening this week sorry and then the very last thing is in the transportation category for the buses i just needed to take the bus on uh one day that was friday the 21st um that day falls within this pay this week and um that was the last time I needed to take the bus. Then surgery was Monday. So from Monday on, I have had full access to the car. There will come a point in time where for another two weeks to a month, we will be doing the sharing situation. While the car that has been repaired gets its um, insurance and registrations and stuff all updated uh, because it sat so long that that needs to happen. Um, so that is where my spending category is and this one that's covered up is just this is week one week two week three And then you'll see week four I think I made as many transactions in this one week as I did in all three of the other weeks so let's go ahead and move over to my Check-in here and we will go over what those totals look like for me now again I give myself an estimate at the beginning of the month and then um Right now, those estimates are being written out very consistently with X amount of dollars per week times four weeks. That may change, but for right now, that's what this running category is. So in my groceries category, in those, I think, seven transactions, I spent $136.62. Last week, I finished out with $104.46. So that means I was under, or I overspent by $32.14 in my groceries category this month. In my dining out, I gave myself zero dollars in this category for this budget. And I knew that every time I chose to go out to eat, I was going to have to be very, very aware that I was making a choice to overspend. And I knew that that would and it did stop me from spending on times I otherwise might have. And any of these times where I went ahead and spent money, I justified that for myself knowing I was going to go over. I spent $67.90 in this uh, this week. I was already on over budget by $30.71. So I did finish out at um, $98.61 over budget. And then in the transportation category, I had that one gas fill up and that one bus trip for a total of $33.66. I still had $100.49 left in my uh, transportation budget so I finished that at 66.83 uh, under budget my art category I gave myself zero dollars for that in this month and I didn't spend anything in the art category at all this month oh am I lying to you no I don't think so I must have purchased when did I purchase when did I hmm Joann's I am lying to you I spent 464 in week three there it is. So I am negative 464. I um, I need to fix this. This is going to end up being negative 464, which is going to fix uh, change my numbers at the end. Um, I did go and get the green color background for my uh, stocking I'm working on, and I got the white fabric to make the zero dog that I'm working on, and we'll see that a little bit at the end so i'm going to need to make this adjustment i did have one transaction in the art category this month but it was not this week and then in the miscellaneous category again i gave myself zero dollars for the month for this budget i spent 56 dollars and seven cents um, on this this month 49 of which i will be getting back i will be returning but that does have me finishing out the month at negative 60 dollars and one cent um, so this week I spent a total of $294.25, which was $123.93 more than I had left in my estimated budget. Um, and so there again is week one, week two, three, and four in my category. I might just leave those. I don't know. I don't like the busyness. I want to be focused on this week's focus. Um, but I also don't necessarily like having to cover that all up. So I will need to adjust this again. This is going to be negative 464, which is going to make this 127, 128 and change. So this number will have to go up a little bit. 
Um, but that is where we are at with my spending check-in for week four for the week of July. Um, again, I'm filming this video on the same day I filmed yesterday's video. I'm just going to 